about to lunge here, but when she's being lunged to the right, she steps into her neck and carries like this. Whereas the normal horse is supposed to be down and carrying with her head to So I'm not even doing nothing, but you see her starting to lower. I'm just pressing. A simple tap can help her loosen up that joint. Don't shake that silly phone. Mind you, I'm not even doing that. I'm just gripping one area. That's where she's most tense. Shaking is fine. That's yeah. how you release. Her stomach is rumbling. Start seeing licking and chewing. That's the sign you got that spot. Now, you take the palm of your hand and just press along. See it starting to lift up? She's like, eh. Megan. You see her lower her head down more. And I'm gonna work my way all the way to the end. I'm not gonna stop right here. You can go towards the shoulder, but I want the whole spine, because that's where most are going. Up the wither, because she started tensing up. Down the wither. And she lowers her back, I'm totally all right with that. Everywhere she starts shaking, I'm just gonna hold for a couple of seconds. Like just trying to figure out what just happened. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to release, now she's deep breathing, like just totally fine with me. Now the night she shook. Is release, release tension versus holding a tight face. Now well, we got some leaning. Find you too. It may look weird that you're just massaging down a horse, but it's really good for them. I'm just gonna pinch this area. There's one tense. Oh, big crack there. Now I'm in a kick zone. She just cracked her whole hip. It sounded like crispy chips. It was kind of nasty. Oh, there it is. Good girl. And then the other side. Yep. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna